Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I am Todd Anderson, joined by Corey Ballmeister. We got Kyle over in the booth. Say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. He's, yeah, nailing yeah. It. he's nailing it, but he just sounds so sad. Yeah. Hi, like, Kyle. There yeah. it is. <laughs> All right. A little more enthusiasm over there, Kyle. <laughs> We're, of course, brought to you by uh, StarCityGames.com and, of course, sponsored by Carnox Chairs. Make sure to check out Carnox.com slash SCG. Check out these chairs. They're pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Um, I want one so bad. We have had <laughs> one match so far today. We played Simic Flash. Uh, versus a Sultai Reanimator deck. Yep. Uh, and honestly, the the Simic deck was a, pretty far ahead, I think, in terms of uh, the the way the decks interacted. Just yep. Counterspell is quite good. But you have to remember, Counterspells are not a big deal right now in Standard because of Teferi Time Raveler. Yep. And there's a chance that the Sultai uh, Reanimator deck is actually just busted. Yeah, but we are seeing a big uptick in counter spells lately because we're seeing a severe downtick in Esper sure. just because I don't know if people think, just try new stuff. I think people just like to play new stuff. I wouldn't be surprised about that CG this weekend. We uh, see Esper win but there definitely could be some new spicy brew out there. Yeah. So of course we are testing yeah. standard for SCG Worcester this weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh I am playing in match two. I'm going to be playing a Boros Angels deck, and this is uh, based off uh, a list that someone posted on Arena Deckless uh, mm -hmm. on on Twitter. I don't remember recall the person's name, but they said they went 10-0 in two leagues and did not drop a game. Wow! Yeah, Angels are powerful. Who would have guessed? Yeah, uh, it's got a, <laughs> a couple of new cards. We'll go over the new cards real quick. So first of all, the the traditional Boros Angels deck was not a feather deck. Feather the Redeemed yeah. was more of a, a build around me, like a heroic style shell. This yeah. version though has like kind of a mini package with with Feather and Reckless Rage and you yeah. Reckless Rage with Reckless all Rage of your is just creatures. a good card. Yeah, I mean yeah. with a lot of creatures that don't die to it, you can pay for life with a Dante Vanguard. Yep. Uh uh this Probably the worst option to do too. Right. Yeah. Uh he was actually playing Tomic uh the Advocist of okay. and the three toughness on Tomic actually lets you play Reckless Rage. But yeah. I thought there were way too many legendary creatures in the deck already and I thought a Dante would give you a bit of a more aggressive slant to the deck uh for the early turns. But it's possible that I'm just wrong for that swap so no? i'm gonna just go on a, a limb here but the I mean, feather package in the deck sorry. yeah oh no no go ahead the feather package in the deck i think is really cool with reckless rage yeah, it's nice that you basically make cast down a completely dead card with all these legends in there yeah that's true pretty spicy you do still have resplendent angel that's fair but, uh so the other new card uh bishop of wings is a two mana one four whenever uh angel enters battlefield in your control you gain four life i originally when i first saw that card was like holy crap that works with their splendid angel to make an angel right away that's such a good combo mm -hmm. turns out uh you need to gain five life so not Ooh, not yeah. quite there but lyra still does it lyra still does it yep. uh you know you can still use the pump on resplendent angel uh, if you can find another way to gain life somewhere in the meantime, maybe you just double angel on one turn or yep, something. Yep. Uh, get two bishops on the battlefield. Every angel makes another angel, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. So um, there's a lot of little mini combos in this deck. And then, of course, we are playing Four Temple of Triumph to kind of smooth out those early draws. And then the normal angel package with Aurelia, Shalai, and Lear Dombringer. Yep, yep. All right, and I'm playing a blue-white tempo deck, blue-white tempo spirits here. Yep. We're seeing uh, a card that we didn't normally see in standard. This yeah. has usually been like a modern staple when yeah. spirits were a big thing. Supreme Phantom coming to join the party here. Um, I I think this deck maybe is trying to do a few too many things here because we are also playing the tap for uh, different creatures here. Um, the new card here, Sephra Sky's Blade. And we have a lot of two-drop spirits, so I think this we might run into some problems where if you just use a removal on it, this might just be stuck in our hand a little too often. That's true. But uh, uh, it could be good. So I, I kind of tweaked Corey's deck because you were playing Rivals yesterday. Yep, Twitch And rivals, yep. Uh, I played against a, a version of this Flyers deck that utilized... Uh, Sephora, or Sephora, and uh, Sephora just looked phenomenal when they yep. played it against me, but I think their build was a little different. They had Siren Storm Tamer and a number of other yeah. maybe one-mana flyers, so they had the ability to cast it on like turn three pretty yeah, easily. Yeah, I think you want to max out on one-drop flyers. So, that. there's but. a chance that it ends up being dead, so if, if we draw like one in game one, it just doesn't work, we'll just swap it out for... You have Dungeon okay. Geist in the sideboard. I think Dungeon Geist yeah. is quite good, so... If anything, maybe a two of or, you know, a two of Even one a of, one of think, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it should ever not be in the deck, but it is going to be very very bad to draw two yes. when we're crippled, you know. So what are, yeah. okay, wh while we're doing this right now, yep. let's 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 just swap two dungeon guys for two Sephora. I like it. I like it. I, I do like dungeon guys in the deck. It is uh, and it's a I reprint, it's but very it's, it's a strong card, card. Yeah. and it's also good against me. Yeah, which absolutely. I want. I want cards that are good in the matchup because I don't want to uh, kind of cripple you here on the, exactly. Your, First versus live versus me. Exactly. Come on, give me a chance here, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we get started, do we have anything from Twitch chat? 
Yes, uh, long-time viewer of the show, Ross Merriam, <laughs> I'd like to know, would you rather fight 100 waffle-sized houses or one house-sized waffle? I don't... Fight? Like, physically? Uh, I think he means fight. I mean, THT, he says yeah. fight because it's like the bear, uh, it's like... Uh, you know, would you rather fight one bear sized dog or 100 dog sized bears? Or <laughs> yeah, sure, but, sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I would rather try to eat 100 waffle sized houses than try to eat one waffle sized house. Yeah, I, or house sized waffle. I'd go for the house sized one. Just think about just walking in a room and be like, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These doorknobs are delicious yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. Well, you get to be on the play here okay. for uh, game number one because you lost the previous match. Got to so take a look at our opener. Ooh, new. Ooh, All new. All right. Well, uh, luckily for me, I get to utilize the new London Mulligan. <laughs> I have a one lander. I I do have a very low land count. I think it is like uh, like twenty two, twenty one, or really? twenty two. Yeah, I thought it was twenty one land. If I am not mistaken. Okay. Why are you like low on lands and you want to keep a two lander and you need a third or something? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to keep this two lander, but we probably I, I I think like one of the biggest problems with Magic is just like whatever deck that you really like, just add a land. I mean, it it, it whenever you get land screwed, yeah. it's you know pretty rough. Um, but this hand's fine. Nothing too special to write home about, but we're gonna keep it. All right, and of course, if you want to take a look at those deck lists, they are slightly different than they should be. But check out the cardboard live extension if that's working. Do we have that going? Cool. It's on. Awesome. Sweet. It's on. It's off. It's on. <laughs> it's off. It's blinking. <laughs> it's blinking red. What do we do? <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm mulliganing to six here, but with the London mulligan, you do look at seven, and then yeah. we put one on the bottom. How you been liking the London mulligan rule, by the way? It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you just being the grumpy old man saying, I don't, I don't like I don't, change. Yeah. It doesn't feel that much different, honestly. But Yeah. Okay. Uh, but maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Your, your turn. I never mulligan anyways, so. Right. <laughs> uh, so we have a spell on top, and I think we just want raw spells, so we'll just keep that. Okay. Your turn. All right, so we drew that right on time. I think we are going to get a phantom in play. Your yep. turn. Let's play another uh, Temple of Tilt. Temple of Tilt. Uh, at this point, I think we just want, like, Lava Coil because we have another thing, so we'll just bottom another Angel. Your okay. turn. We're going to draw a card. Perfect draw here. We loved it. Loved it. Needed that third land. Um, now we got options. Now we got options. We could either play, if we'd want to take a look at my hand, I don't want to give away too much info, being a uh, uh, tempo-based deck here. We can either play this. I like that the least, um, just because we're pretty vulnerable then. Eh, maybe not. So I kind of like this, and then we have options to keep up these two. Yeah, we're going to go with that here. All right, so we're going to go favorable wins. Yep, take right. two. Take it for two. 18. Your turn. That was a pretty good draw. Wow. I'm a little off, a little worried here that uh, Corey's just going to clap me with something like a spell pierce or clap, clap. unsummon. But I think in order to use my mana efficiently, uh, we are going to try Prison Realm targeting the Supreme Phantom. I will do some clapping. Go. Yeah, and that was why I did this play. I really wanted to make use of Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is going to be really bad in the matchup, except on turns one through three, you yep. know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Going to untap here. Get in there for two more. 16. Okay. It's good he doesn't have another Supreme Phantom to put up to, like, five toughness, because that would make it out of range of... Uh, I'm going for the second stuff. main phase, Supreme Phantom. Classic. <laughs> so you got an Executioner? Yes. So we're going to get a Spirit. Yeah, and, and then, then uh, we'll be shipping it back to you. So these are three threes right now, which is uh, quite impressive. Yeah, uh, we're gonna play land. We're gonna play Resplendent Angel, and then I'm gonna Reckless Rage and deal four to your uh, Supreme Phantom while you're tapped out. Quite strong. Your turn. All right. And now we got a three three versus a couple of two twos. But if you draw the fourth land, he can just exile this. That is true. But then I have to get rid of that. It, that ability is really for things that are really in my way, like yes. Lyra. I, think. I agree. I agree. Instead, I'll go with Teferi Time Raveler. We'll ship that back. Okay. All right, we'll go for a land and smash you for four. I'm at 12. All right. I'm loving this deck so far. <laughs> your turn. I just love playing on your opponent's turn. It's just uh, so resplendent. nice. That resolves. I will go for Reckless Rage targeting this and this. I will unsummon. Wait, does that still work? It does. I'm pretty sure it still works. 
Because mm. I just have to target my own creature. Yeah, okay. So you can summon yours. Yeah. And let's, then you just get to recast a hang next year. think about this. Okay, so... Let's make sure. Deals four damage to target creature you control and uh, and two damage to target creature you don't control. Or two you do control and four you don't control. I think so you just I've, have to target it. Yes. I could be wrong. Judge! We got Richie in the it's other just, room, it's right? Just, it's just target. <laughs> okay, so I am going to unsummon my creature then. Okay. Okay. Land go. All right. Now we're going to start by ticking up, of course. Now we got options. We can either recast that, which I don't like because I do not want to give Todd the option to resplendent angel me. So I think we're going to dungeon geist this down. Tight. Tight, tight, That's tight. way better than that seven drop right now. Way <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you for allowing me to yeah, yeah. Uh, put those in. Take okay. two. I'm at ten. Put you to ten. And it's and a four then... four now too, which is so big. Insane. Your yeah. turn. As this stays tapped under Dungeon Geist. Stay there. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to play a Prison Realm. Prison Realm. Okay, that is pretty good. Target Dungeon Geist. All right. Scry one, and we're going to bottom a land. Okay. Your turn. Maybe I should have just let that first Reckless Rage kill the creature here. We're going to go ahead and step Sailor. Oof. Okay. This is still looking a little dicey. If you have an answer for this Resplendent Angel. Yeah, I don't as of now. Nice. All right, so we're going to tick up. Um... We're going to get in there. All right, I'm at six. Six, and then we will cast this card you know about. Yep. And then just to land, your okay. turn. There we go. Splendid Angel online. It's on. I'm going to attack your Teferi. I will block. All right, we're going to pump, and yep. in a turn I'll gain four. I'll gain four, and in a turn make an angel. So you gain five, right? Or gain five, yeah. Yep, sorry. okay, so you go to 11. All you right. get an angel. And we don't have any tokens. I was using the elemental bird from earlier, so I'm going to go to 11. You don't have any in your box. Oh, I do. I'm stupid. They're just, oh, okay. My bad, my bad. First time? Yeah. Okay. Well, the <laughs> first time that they've actually put them with the decks instead of... Uh... I meant your first time here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an excellent draw by Corey. The crowd goes wild. Okay. So I drew on summon. I'm definitely going to have no! some spice here. <laughs> but I'm going to start by just... I mean, you could just bounce that and then the kill the Resplendent Angel with the Hanged Executioner if you want to. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to use a little bit more value here. So we're going to start by drawing I'm going to start by drawing a card. Okay. We're going to go like this and we're going to get in for six. Okay. Minute five. All right. Your turn. Yeah. And if There's I no go real point for yeah. me to do it, you know, I mean, if Todd doesn't know that I drew this, even if he still has to be a little worried and likely not jump into this. I think I'm dead no matter what, but yep. Uh, let's go Shalai. Shalai. Okay. Um, that resolves. All right, and I'll shock and play an angel. Okay. And I think I'll just say go. So you go to three. Because I have the Shalai, I think going for it is, like, pretty bad. Yeah. So now I think uh, like I'm going to do this position. at end step. Yeah. I'm going to try to go for it here. I have a couple of draws that just win me the game here on the spot. Yep. You have three more Teferi, two more Unsummons. Yep, we're going to draw. Unfortunately, no such luck yet. So now we actually don't really have much going on, so I'm going to pass it back to you. All right, now we basically can't... I mean, he's just going to draw another card. We're, we have another Shalai that he bounced. We can't do both, though. All right, uh, do we attack with both? Or, I think just one. All right. Attacking and pumping? Yep. Okay, I'll like that Oh. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Go. All right. We're not drawing well over here, though. Wait, can't you just block, exile this, and kill me? Huh? Block, sack it, exile this, kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you totally did, let's say up. you did that. Because okay. we are professional magic players. We are professional magic players. <laughs> All right. But if I block and you just pass priority... Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, then that... So we just both kind of misplayed No, there. just block Pass 40 and then hit this. And then you, and then I... Well, then, then I can play follow... Shalai. Oh, well, yeah, then I follow up post-combat Shalai. Yeah. But then you still have... I mean, that's just way better anyway for... Not really, because I would not take it. I would just take it. Okay. No, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. Okay. So I would just take it when you go to pump, then I would exile. Yeah. Okay. So okay. this this is exile. Sorry. Okay. So this I drew a card. I'm using four to cast Sailor here. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So not a great draw as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we will go this, wait to react here, and we'll say go. All right, well, he doesn't have a bouncer removal spell, or else I would just be dead. So let's just go again. All right, um, I'm going to take it. All right, so you go to 15, I go to 8. 15 to 8. Playing a Dante Vanguard, which does nothing in the matchup. End of turn, make a thing. All right, we're going to draw a card then. So. Yep. It's really hilarious that Dantos are absolutely unplayable in this matchup. Right. Whereas <laughs> Tomic would actually be quite good as a 2-3 blocker right now. All right, well, so I can go like this, this. All right, so we're going to go 6 mana. Oh, what? I'm going to play these two things. Okay. Get a token, and then we'll pass it back. Where's my 7-7 seven, seven now? <laughs> shall, I, shall I resolve? Uh, Lava Coil, the Spectral Sailor. All right, we'll uh, draw a card. Okay. Should Lava Coil first. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. It. Yeah, let's do that. Lava Coil first. Because I kind of want to make a stupid thing instead. Yeah, well, I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to draw a card then. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Go. All right. I'm a, I, messed, <laughs> I messed up. Here we go. We're playing loose this game. Yeah. All right. I'm still in a lot of trouble here. Definitely need some help. So one of the downsides of playing on versus, like, if you stop and think for, like, 30 seconds, which you do a lot in tournaments, like, you just have 30 seconds of dead air. Yeah, exactly. I'd, you know, I'd bad, rather we bad play is better than... And talk about it. Learning from mistakes is completely fine. That's play and draw. Cool. Yep. That's pretty gross. Um. Okay. So, these are threes. threes. And you're at eight, huh? Okay. Well, this is insane. Let's make them fours. Okay. I think you're just dead. This can't attack. Oh, yeah, you're right. You yeah, you have to block them all, though. Have to block them all. Yeah, I'm just three chump blocks, right? Yeah, well, you put the... Oh, yeah, that is just three chump blocks. Well, this is, this is trading with one of one thing. Yeah, but you're gonna want to trade chumps. with this. Yeah, I I, I should I just I messed up. If I had yep. quote first, so we would have had a real game. But yep. I'm just in well, down. I just would have drawn one card less. Right. Sure. Yeah, I just would have drawn one card because I wouldn't have did that. I would have had to leave this open. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think I did draw this. So. <laughs> one card sometimes all the difference is all it takes. I had a lot of the lands. What was I saying about there being not enough lands? Yeah, I don't know. We gotta cut these lands. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shuffle up here. We're gonna play game two still with uh, without Free sideboarding. sideboarding. Yep, yep. Got yep. anything over there for me, bro? Not yet. Tell Nobody's uh, submitted any questions in quite Man. a while. That's fair. Any hilarious comments? <laughs> uh, nothing's gonna top the waffles made of your house or whatever. It was. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Ross, ask some questions. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> it's his day off, man. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, actually basically in... just screaming in chat. We are professionals, very professional. <laughs> we get paid to do this. Uh -uh. That was me. I was messaging over on uh, off camera. Uh, I just assumed your brother was in there doing it. Just yeah, like... could be, could be. He's just like, this is what I left behind. <laughs> you are making me look bad. All right, my hand is awesome. We're gonna keep. I'm in trouble. Oh, we definitely need to draw a land. If I don't draw a land, I, I can't possibly win. This hand is definitely a little heavy on land, but I think it's good enough to keep, so I'm going to keep it. Right, here we go. Okay, that was a great draw. We're going to go island. Pass it back. Um, I want to get aggressive here. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. I think not. Your turn. Okay. What is this? So one four. an angel comes into play, you gain yeah. four. Yep, yep. And God, whenever... if that just triggered off Resplendent Angel, that would be insane. I th I'm glad that didn't yeah. say five. I wish, well, I wish Resplendent said four. Well, that would just be busted, right? Right. Yeah. That would be <laughs> very be turn good. Turn three, right. seven power. Yeah. 
That's too good. Have you played standard? <laughs> yeah, it's more fair, man. Okay. Your turn. Is it though? <laughs> Didn't draw land. Reckless Rage attack for one go. It's dead. 19. Right. Yeah, our hand is quite bad, though. All right, so we're going to draw this. Quite bad. Here's our... Drawing this is... Uh, is it better or worse tell? than a handful of four and fives? Go. Uh, I mean, does screw beat flood? Go. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have four lands and one spell in hand? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so we got a phantom here. Sure. We're going to attack for is three. Is that a spirit? It is, yeah. Nice. It's crazy, okay. right? 17. Okay, put you to 17. We did draw a spell, so we got uh, we got some action, and it's a good one. Oh, man. Oh, block. Really? It's a... Two four. Yeah, you're you're right. I quit. <laughs> I, I know it's a two four, but like, what if I just reckless rage kill this? Do you have a counter spell? No. It might have been loose, but you didn't have <laughs> that, did you? <laughs> right. I had the restock. Another that was game. An insane draw. Another game one because I I kept a two lander and sure, look. Got to keep that right. You, you know. have angel. My hand was actually uh, the bishop of wings, feather, and reckless rage oh. Oh, on the okay. play. Yeah, yeah, I was like, uh, well, that's insane, yeah. Nuts, yeah. yeah, and I mean, uh, like, not much you can actually do from the blue-white side besides just bouncing it, um, which is reasonable, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Especially, if, like, in response to the thing or whatever, because it's countered. Yeah, but even with you playing the 1-4, I could bounce it, and then you just kill Teferi. That's not great. Sure. You know, but... All right, what you got for me? We got a question here about where this Azorius Skies Who's it from? goes after Ravarix. Ravarix. Hmm. All right, Ravarix asks, where's the Blue-Eyed Skies deck from? Or where does it go after, let's say, M19 rotates? Do you keep the spirit, try to go with the spirit theme? I mean, probably not. It's Supreme Phantom, Phantom is yeah. Phantom is the reason why there are uh, is a spirit theme. Like, yeah. I think Hanged Executioner is really good. Is that his name? Something the 2-3? No, the executioner that makes the one one. Oh yeah, I I don't know about that card. It's just such a big mana constraint and three mana for two power. I think it's okay. You probably just go more focused on a mono blue thing and splash white for Teferi. That seems like a better way to do it post uh, rotation. Well, sure, and but... you splash for the the eagle too, right? Yeah, eagle to fairy have a, have a minimal splash. I I think that would be better. You maybe but... maybe go a little heavier on white so you can play a bunch more one drop flyers and the uh, angel. Yeah, I mean, you could go um, the 1-1 one, one lifelink, life link, you know, and just try to go favorable wins. Yeah. And Eagle Eagle doesn't care if it's a spirit or not. Right, so right, that could right. still be great. Just maximize on one drops. And then you get counter spells. So I think mm -hmm. that's where I would go without the spirits. Right. I don't even know if the spirits are good, to be My honest. My hand's very but... good this time. All right. You right. said that last time. I know. <laughs> I said, well, I said very good if I drew a land. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to do a weird thing. Here you okay, go. Okay. It's getting weird. Here you go. All right, all right. What'd you draw? <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. Um. Okay. So I got options here. I don't want my creature to just die right away to a reckless rage. So you know what? I'm gonna beef him up first. Your turn. One. Yet. One. Here you go. Nineteen. We gain in life, huh? Oh yeah. So another reason here, I don't want to get reckless rage. So I'm not gonna walk into that. Um, I drew a great one here. This is a to fairy. To fairy, the time reveler is a very good option here. Every other option just kind of dies, so we're gonna to fairy and go up. Go up. Go. Okay. Uh, I'll play resplendent angel and gain eight life. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> <I'm at> Twenty-eight. <laughs> uh, so this is in the wings. We're gonna hit to fairy for two. Okay. Then EOT get an angel. That's spicy. Your turn. <laughs> That's real good. Okay. Now, even if he bounces Angel, we get to replay it again, gain eight more. If he bounces this one, that's fine. Yeah, I, th I mean, that's my only option. Um, I probably want to protect my creatures first in some regards. Now, you can't activate Resplendent Angel right now, but, I mean, the combo of being able to bring it back is quite good. I think my only option here is to take two. Here at 17. Go to 17. I'm going to... Get another favorable wins and a Supreme Phantom. Okay. And then bounce. Okay. So now this is out of Reckless Rage target is the reason why I did that before I activated Teferi, just to make sure it was uh, not respondable. Gain eight. Yep. 36. 
<laughs> uh, attacking how, here is ill-advised, so we'll just make an angel. How on earth could I ever beat this? <laughs> I don't know. Your, your turn. <laughs> how on earth? Bishop and multiple is pretty good. Yeah, pretty I mean, I'm going to make big. giant creatures. I think that's my only hope yeah, is to just try I mean, to block. <laughs> that is how, I mean, that is a good way to uh, yeah. end up winning the game for sure. I th okay, so what do we got here? It's a 3-5. Five. Five. So a four fours are attacking. That's still a five five. So I do want to get the creatures a little bigger. A little bigger is what we got to do. Go defense. Let's hope these winds are favorable for so us. So this is a, they're both sixes now. Yes, six top nets. We got a five six here and a four six here. Interesting. Just looking for a reckless rage, I imagine, here. Um, do I want to allow that? I probably do. Um, yeah, we'll block. Okay, damage. Yep. Uh, second main, I'll play another Sly. Again, eight. Okay. This enters the battlefield. I I have eight more life. Oh, Holy from crap. the angel tokens. I have sixteen more life. Yeah, you do. Okay, so it's, before this happens, I have I'm at fifty two, and then now I'm gonna go up to sixty. Okay, <laughs> how could I ever be? And this? then <laughs> I'm gonna lava coal the phantom. Wrong order, baby. Eh, kind of, because <laughs> I didn't want you to unsummon this in response. Sure, sure, sure. That's so fine. now I'm going to get another angel and gain eight more life. Okay, okay. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Well, I mean, the only thing 68. is my flyers I, are kind of bigger. I'm. It's going to take me an eternity to win this game, but right. I turn. think I do kind of have at least the board stopped with Todd not having cards in hand. 68. Uh... uh Okay, so this Teferi Time Reveler is quite awkward. <laughs> Lol. I want to bounce that spirit shot. Tokens uh, what's it? Whenever an angel dies. creature you control dies, so I get one spirit off of the one that died, but I don't get the one off the one that was bounced. Yep, exactly. Okay. Wow, impressive. That card's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go like this. going to make a couple of these. We're going to go with Teferi. Okay. Um, we're just going to take up here. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to bounce slide? I don't. I don't, Todd. <laughs> Your turn. All right, so these are all five fives. Convenient five fives. So now I can trade Resplendent Angel for another four four and eight life and a spirit, or I can just wait. Um, so I'm at 68. What happens if I attack with everything? You probably, I mean, th these are huge. You're at 68? Four. I'm at 68. <laughs> I'm just going to say That's go, insane. I guess. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't really think uh, you can do a lot. And I yeah, actually... since, since these are 5-5s, five like, I can't really even threaten to attack with and an you angel. you can't attack with Resplendent Angel because yeah. I can block with this. Mm -hmm. Got a 5-6. Uh, I think you should have another one because you have two bishops out, right? <laughs> New cards here, folks. New cards. Bum, 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 All right. Bum, They're not super bum, relevant bum, bum, right bum, now, bum. just the one. Oh, wow. That was a good draw. Come on. <laughs> All right, so... I don't think I can possibly win. <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy, right? I'm going to yeah. bounce this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so silly. I uh, I still can't attack either. Um, no. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to keep building up a board. I think I have the advantage when it comes to the long game, especially with this card I drew. Here we go. All right. A tick up, and we are going to just cast it for seven. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play and draw, and we'll pass. Well, that's okay. All right, Aurelia, we're gonna gain eight. Okay. You're up to eighty. No, sorry, seventy-six. Seventy-six. Sure. Uh, I was keeping track of these life totals going on. Pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, target creature gets plus two, so we'll attack for six and get to vigilance. Okay. So the rail was actually an insane draw. Okay. So we're so all plus five. So I will block with this. 
three, six. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So it dies. I get two things. I'm going to lava coil it after combat. That's going to happen. Okay, and in a turn, I'll get another angel. Okay. Here we go. All right, we'll make another one of these. Oh, no, I gain eight more life. Okay. I go to 84. <laughs> you got two tokens, right? Yeah. Okay. 84. All right. Not too long from now, I'll actually be able to start attacking those. So I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't win. I don't think is, you can. Which is hilarious. Honest, which is insane. Um, so I'm going to play a Supreme Phantom. Yeah. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. So these are six sixes. Mm -hmm. uh, go. I'm going to win this long game eventually. I'm just going to draw my deck. I'll eventually get on summons. There's no point in me actually pressuring. Ooh, this actually might be able to get you a feather. Ooh. Is that resolve? Uh, yep. All right, I'm going to gain eight. Go okay. to 92. 92. And I'll trigger Aurelia. Okay, nothing can attack through except this, and I don't want to lose that this. That can't attack so. through either. As a seven, right? Oh, you, you guys as a toughness? Yeah, they're plus four, so seven toughness. Yeah, it's supposed to get pumped by this. Sure, oh, sure, sure. And then I'll pump itself, but I can't pump I get double block, turn. yeah. Yeah, okay. And a turn, make an angel. Okay, I'm Gain going more to... Uh... 100. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I am going to before you get. Oh, an angel. sure, sure. We're sure. gonna get rid of that. Okay. Stop that shenanigans. Okay, so I'm at 92. Yeah, 92. Stay away from. And it's 100. an exile, so I don't get. Uh... Yep. Yeah. All right, so we are going to. We can take down on Shalai if we really want to. Yeah, Shalai out. Can't target. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cheater. That's right. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll exile Shalai then. Okay. So still I, an angel. Yeah, I still get the angel EOT and I'm still at 100. Okay. Just 100. No big deal. All right. So we are. What do you A lowly 17? A lowly 17. <laughs> All right. So we're going to kill an angel. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah. And of course, it's a bounce, not a kill. Yeah. So we don't get the two tokens off of Bishop. All right. We're going to do this. Yeah, okay. Go. Now we're going to get that angel out of yeah. here. What's the highest toughness among creatures you at? Four, four lords, so seven. Seven toughness. And we have a lot of them at seven. All right, so I, I guess I just force you to use your hanged executioner. So we can really this, then pump it and attack. Okay. Uh, really a target this. Okay. Pump this. I'll double lock. All right, so I'll gain five. You gain seven, right? As uh, or seven, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I go to 107. And you don't get the angel since it's dead, right? No, but I get two spirits. Yep, yep, yep. So you go to 107. All right. And here go. Draw card? Sure. Take <laughs> up. <laughs> this is insane. I'm just going to concede in like four turns. I mean, yeah, you're super dead because I can almost start getting aggressive. Yeah, you're going to attack me for like 201 attack. In Dungeon, a guys, this, this. Um, I'm a graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to get a little busy here. We're going to get a little froggy. Okay, you have one blue up? Yeah. Uh, How big are they? One, two, three, four, five. They're all six sixes. Uh, so, double block, spectral sailor, okay. and triple block a token. Okay. Um, I you yep. want to kill, kill the feather. We'll right. get rid of these two. Just die, and then I'll get four more spirits. Sounds great. Then it's, uh, your turn. Or only two, right? No, Is two angel non tokens. Died. It's not non Oh, it's just angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, your turn. All right, so this stays tapped from the yep. Dungeon Geist. It is dungeoned. It still gets the ability, though, of relevance. Uh, play another bishop. Okay. Play a Shalai. Sure. Your turn. Creature. Yep. All right. Oh, I gained 12 more. Sorry. <laughs> at 119. All right. Okay, so check that up. This is insane. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. Yep. Ooh. Play an angel. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're not going to attack with lords nor those, but I will. Get I'm pretty sure if you attack me for, with everything, I'm going to take about 80. I mean, you're. A, I'm going to play it slow and steady. I'm the one at a, a manageable life total, okay. so I'm going uh, to uh, so take you, it slow. So these are sevens now, and this is an eight, so it's 15? Yep. 
All right, I'm at uh, 104. 104? All right, your turn. Just kill me. Just 104. Just kill me. I like to play with my food. Om um, nom nom. Okay, <laughs> I quit. All right. <laughs> But Todd, you're at 104. Why would you yeah. quit? How often do you okay. think someone's conceded at 104 life? Not often. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, that game was insane. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Uh, all right. We're going to take a short break here. Uh, we're going to get sideboards put together here. I'm down 3 0, but we're going to try to get at least one post board game in. Sounds great. Uh, we don't really have that much time. Uh, this matchup does feel really bad. But, yeah, it does. Um, what are we. Uh... I'm bringing in Definitely Clarion, which might be okay. We'll just play one quick. Actually, let's let's uh, let's do sideboards live, and then we'll just play one more quick Sounds sideboard great. game versus um, live and sideboards live. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna board in seven cards. I'm gonna board out Dante Vanguard because I can't really be aggressive in this matchup. It feels like. Yep. Just not fast enough. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't have a lot here. I definitely don't want pro red. I probably don't want more of these angels. Demystify seems okay. Um, yeah, I do have Prison Room, and, I'm, and you have to assume like some number of bindings are coming in. Yeah, exactly. But it is a very narrow card. If I'm just it trying is. to demystify your threats, then I just lose to the Angel package. So yeah. I don't think I'm going to actually bring in a lot of those. Um, and I still have to ferry for Ixalan's Binding, so I'm actually not too afraid of that card. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually going to trim some Liras, which is... No, I think that I think that's reasonable. To fairy time reveler and unsummon really invalidate those pretty quickly. Yeah, I should just cut them all. Mm. I think I am going to. Well, Shall I actually felt kind of weak, but it did make you target it first. But yeah, Shall I seems good if you can go resplendent angel into Shall I and then protect it and then have a, a way to pump without knowing I'm going to interfere. Yeah. Maybe Aurelia is the one that's not that good just because it's aggressive and I'm just like trying to play super long game and yeah, just kill everything. I think but... I would at least leave one in, you know, just with the legendary effect. You don't want to draw more multiples of them, but. Okay. You, you sold me, I was going to cut one of all the legends. All right. <laughs> that's perfect. All right, what you all doing right. over there? So I'm leaving in my tempo cards, um, like on summons and stuff. The cards that stand out to me as weak is Spell Pierce because they're pretty narrow. I feel like I'm lucky if I get a target. And then uh, Remorseful Clerics feel also pretty bad to me. Not sure about this uh, giant uh, angel it. here. We're keeping it's, it. We got to okay, keep it's fine. <laughs> I think it's worth. I think it's good in the turbo one drop, two drop heavy versions, but the spirit one just like you have way too many like more expensive spirits for yeah. it to be good, I think. And I'm going to bring in Baffling End because uh, Resplendent Angel does scare me. Yeah, um, I mean, even the yeah. Bishop of Wings might be a little problematic as the game's exactly. going. But Resplendent Angel, I think, is the card that can definitely overtake the game. Like, I'm not too afraid of the Bishops for the sense that we saw it do exactly what it should be doing that game, and it just wasn't enough. It was just, <laughs> there's a big difference between not dying and winning, and that card yeah. just equals not dying. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do thought, I, I thought that the, the, uh, your side of that game where, like, you just played five or six ways to pump all your creatures yeah. was pretty nuts. Yeah, exactly. You know? And you started with two favorite ones before you even played a creature or whatever, so, like, yeah. a lot of my removal got invalidated by that, which exactly. is pretty I was, cool. I was trying to axe out Lava Coil and Reckless Rage there because I could have went turn two Supreme Phantom or turn three uh, the Spirit Eagle, whatever it's called. I'm so bad with Imper cards. Imperian name. Eagle. Yeah. Don't worry. Honestly, Brad was exactly the same yeah. way, I mean, and you're from blood. the same bloodline. It's, so, you it's know. in our blood. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to keep my opener. Anything for us over there? Quips? Uh, Questions? I'm ask a quick question from Histeus. All right. What's up? Um, Histeus wanted to know a little bit more about the Boris Angels deck, okay. specifically the matchup between the Ramp Elemental deck that's been floating around. Have you had any experience with it? Uh, this is actually my first match playing with the deck, so no. Uh, I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of it myself. I think uh, I think I can take that one. I think it would actually be pretty good because sure. those uh, teamer-style decks really focus on red removal. Yes. And red removal deals four points of damage at max most of the time. They have Fry in the sideboard, which is going to be great against you. Mm. But otherwise, the main deck removal does not line up well with Aurelia and Lyra. So I think game one, it'll be very easy. You'll be able to just cast a giant angel and win. Post-board with Fry and stuff, I think it would get a lot worse because with Risen Reef, Omnath and stuff, you get so much value that all you have to do is have good removal spells for it and it would be advantage so i think post board it would go to you um um po or pre-board post board it would go to the team or deck would be yeah. my would be my understanding sure but i yeah. uh, also want to point out tomic is quite good against uh nissa, nissa who yeah. shakes the world so nissa who if, doesn't shake anything if yeah. you uh nissa who shakes N her hand after yeah that. yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice one all right uh scry we don't want another lance we'll put on bottom you're yep. good 
So we have a little bit of an awkward hand. I, I have a specific card that I did not want to uh, uh, have drawn early. It's definitely a more corner case thing. Mm -hmm. Done, right? All right, so that was a great draw. All right, we're going to try to be favored with these favorable wings. Your turn. Play resplendent. Here you go. Okay. All right, so we have it. Just, just this is what made these kind of decks invalidated in the past, is whenever you get to have this tempo loss, it's just so insane. That's why yeah. Teferi is just so busted. Here you go. Yep. All right, so I want to make sure I can do something about that as well. Um, don't have anything great right now. But I think we just go this, get a token, and then we'll pass it back to you. Okay. Um... Uh, reckless Rage here and here. Reckless Rage, huh? Coil this. It's been coiled. Okay. Um, Try and play around Spell Pierce, but still yeah. getting blown out by an Unsummon. It's tough to play around everything. Your turn. All right. So this, um, we're going to go Phantom. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Pretty good. Not bad. Uh, are those out? Okay, your turn. Remember, you can do that at instant speed. What's up? You can do that at instant speed. Oh, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Uh, Angel Reckless Rage. Yep. Your turn. That would have been much better to do. All right, so... Teferi doesn't have too much value here if we go up since we don't have a great ant. Yeah, maybe I take that back. Yeah, we're going to go... Now nah, we're gonna bounce it. Okay, bounce that angel. Draw a card. Not bad. Um, it's very stupid. It's a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to go unfavorable wins. Yep. And we're you're right. It is un more. very unfavorable for me. <laughs> yeah, your turn. All right. So it has three toughness. Yep. Uh, wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Let's uh coil the reckless. Oh, yeah. the graveyard. And play this. Okay. Your turn. All right. So now we are going to go for... It's kind of brutal. The Resplendent is kind of a beating. But not much we can do. This is still pretty giant. Your turn. Four or five? Yep. Is that? Okay. We're going to five, five. Gotcha. I just I, I feel like I'm going to get popped by an unsummon, so I don't really know what to do. It's a tricky one. I think I just kind of go for it. If you have unsummon, it's fine. I'll block. Um, unsummon. Going for the blowout effect there. I had other options to do, but getting a free time walk for one mana against Todd right now, I think was too much to value. So mm -hmm. I uh, definitely went for the higher upside play. Let's get favorable. Yep. All right. So take five. 15. 15, 20. And then uh, we'll say go. We tried to run him out of the unsummon before we did this. I didn't since he had two favorable wins. I didn't want to binding a favorable win, but unfortunately he had a third one. So we're gonna Pretty binding. Good. We're gonna target the eagle. Okay, eagle, eagle, angel. Yep, go demystify. <laughs> I'll be taking that back. I don't know if I should bring it to Richifier now. <laughs> it was in my opener, so that's not great. You're done in ten. Your turn. That was my corner case card. All right, eight for four. Okay. 16 to 10. Er, that doesn't have haste. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay, duh. Go. All right. I'll attack. Five. Your turn. Can I get a feather? Feather one time. That's not bad. Uh, Prison realm. Ooh, that is pretty good. Target your oh, Eagle. Eagle. Scry. Yep. Top Uh, target. Yep. Four. 16. And I'm at five or 10. I'm sorry. Five. Okay, 5, 2, 16. Okay. All right. We're dying for a sailor here, but we have not found one. So your turn. A sailor would just bust this game wide open. And it's a one drop. That's the crazy thing. All right. Uh, for you. 12. Play a feather. Okay. Your turn. That's not bad at all. All right. We're going to start with a baffling end. All right. Now we will just casually... Maybe that's not great. Hmm. 
I'm guessing I have a soul read that it's a reckless rage in hand. <laughs> soul read because I was like, come on, feather. Yeah, yeah. yeah Weird. Yeah. So with, <laughs> with that being the case, I think I want to hold off on this and just say go. Or yep, eight go. All right. Ooh, that was good. That was good. Okay, so dungeon geist. And then spirit. Okay. Your turn. I was holding off on this because I wanted to use the mana, but Dungeon Geist was just too good. <laughs> good lord. Yeah, that was a uh, that was favorable oh, yeah, for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, the uh the, the that deck has a lot of lord effects. Yeah. And they just compound so much. And like with burn based removal, like I uh, you know, game two my all my stuff got invalidated in that yep. game right there. Like I just and I think I think Teferi Time Raveler is insanely bad for your deck. Oh, for like, sure. It just it just hits everything so nicely, and then yes. I'm able to clog the board. Mm -hmm. And you once again uh, have a lot of red base removal. So if I can just ever get the creatures out of range, it's pretty tough to uh, for you to muster anything up there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. So Angel's deck uh, probably Tomic is just better than a Danto Vanguard. For uh, I'll just you know it felt kind of bad. Um, I know uh, Takali Honor Guard, a lot of people would talk about maybe main decking that again because of uh, Risen Reef and all the elementals having those sure. enter the battlefield effects. And I know that, you know, well, Brad, actually, your brother, uh, finals the Grand Prix last year with a version of this deck featuring four copies yeah. of the main deck, Takali Honor Guard. So. And to be fair, he thought that deck was terrible. It was just a great metagame, metagame call. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about Takali, Adanto, Vanguard, Tomic. All those things are metagame calls. And right now we don't know a proper metagame. So I tend to side on the side of Adanto, Vanguard because it's just already an, an insane card. That's what I thought. But yeah. I think Tomic actually might be a little better in that generic slot because Tomic... Uh, works better with reckless rage so you don't have to pay the life sure and it stops uh uh nisu shakes the world like yep. it's just well, that card is just so insane and so hard to beat uh for for like a mid-range deck so exactly or tamio bringing back a land yeah. your fifth land for bond uh, revival Got I, think, I think more so you just want cards that are good both offensively and defensively yep. and adonto vanguard just plays one way exactly and uh tamio can play both Exactly, but if you're expecting a lot of, you know, is it Phoenix and a lot of these red base shock decks, yeah. you don't care that Adanto Vanguard doesn't block because it's getting in there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, and uh, as far as the Skies deck is concerned, I thought it played out really well. It did. I liked the different angles of attack. The the yep. trickiness felt really cool. Mm -hmm. It actually acted uh, similarly to the Simic uh, Flash deck where your your instant speed stuff was really hard for me to play around. Yep. Um, there was a couple spots where, like, I walked into uh, Spell Pierce when I was trying to play around an Unsummon. Yep. There were a couple times where I like walked into X or Y and I was like playing around the other one. Yeah. And uh and sometimes like, you just made plays that I didn't even see coming because all these new cards acting in instant speed, like you just you know yep. uh when you hit five mana like your Spectre Sailor is just so good in that it's deck. Insane, yeah. yeah, so insane. And I think uh I think one thing to really note that I've learned so far from these first two matches is Unsummon is here to stay. Like Unsummon <laughs> seems insane. Yeah. I mean good. especially in these elemental decks that are playing four drops that are, you know, really impactful like Omnath or you're playing Cavaliers and stuff. One mana tempo swings is pretty rough. If yeah. you're bringing an aggro deck, you have to bring a low to the ground aggro deck that invalidates it or you have to be killing stuff to make Unsummon not good against you like Esper Control. Yeah. Uh, Unsummon felt really good in both the matches so far where we played. Of course we're playing them against larger creatures, but exactly. uh you know, you start seeing uh you know, it, I, Unsummon might b look bad on paper against something like Elite Guard Mage, for example. Yeah. But if you completely uh, like slow your opponent down enough where uh, they needed that body to actually yep. give them the buffer, you know, like bouncing a Basilica Bell Haunt, whatever, it looks bad on paper. But people do it with Teferi uh, Time Raveler all the time yep. just to, to gain positioning on the battlefield. And if Unsummon is being used in that way, it's, it's not even that bad. And that's like yep. the, the lowest spot for it. And I think. Speaking of like the lowest spots, when you don't have a good way to tempo out your opponent, I think it is much better in your Simic version because bouncing your counter spell, you can bounce yes. a counter spell in the form of sweet. thrilled mystic. Yeah. So I think like in matchups where you don't have good unsummon targets, unsummon is basically dead in my deck except saving something for removal. Yes. But it's a counter spell and it saves something for removal in your deck. So I think it's uh, better in the Simic version against dead matchups. Sure. 
Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it here for match number two, but we do have one more match on the way for you. We're going to be playing my version of Teamer Elementals featuring four copies of Neoform. Ooh. My article uh, this week is all about Neoform in these elemental shells, so make sure to check that out on SurcityGames.com. You can do that right after we're done with Versus Live for today. Corey, uh, what are you going to be playing? I'm playing my version of uh, Vampires here. It's cool. a much more aggressively vampired, or a much more aggressively slanted vampire list that I wanted to have a lot of game against the Nexus decks, and normally it'd be a really bad matchup, but with all the drain effects from Conquistador to Sanctum Seekers, it doesn't matter if they have Root Snare, you're still able to kill them through the negative effects, yeah. and it's just much faster, so it has a good matchup against that. This is probably what I would play if I was going to the SCG this weekend, and it is going to be my upcoming uh, dropping bombs here coming up shortly, so cool. you have to check that Excellent. out as well. All right, we'll make sure uh, to come right back. We're going to take a short break here. We'll be back for more Versus Live here at StarCityGames.com. <laughs> 